My farm is in southeastern Pennsylvania, a farm about 225 acres, corn, soybeans, wheat, 25 acres of pumpkins, two acres of high tunnel tomatoes. Of the corn, uh, bean, and wheat acres, about 100 acres of that is now dedicated to cover crop research. I started no-tilling back in the 1980s and saw the benefits of that, primarily reduced soil erosion on my farm because I have hilly land. Then in the 90s, I started getting interested in cover crops more intentionally. And then as I worked with the University of Maryland and we discovered these radishes that what eventually became tillage radish, it really opened my eyes up to what cover crops can do for my fields and my farm and then uh, now providing seeds for, for other farmers. I'd like to emphasize the power of diversity. That's kind of like the tip of the spear in the whole cover crop movement. When I say that, I'm, I'm saying diversity of species. When we grow our cash crops, it's a little difficult to grow multiple species of cash crops. But when you have that window of opportunity for cover crops, there we can do it. We can put it in there and it wakens up biology. That's an easy way to say, uh, to say it, but it, it's something happens there that really helps to, to give a benefit our soil health, which then in turn allows us to grow a better crop. When you bring cover crops into the equation of your farm, you're adding another level of management. A farmer needs to embrace that if he's going to be successful. You need to educate yourself, you need to learn what to do. So yes, it requires an investment of your time, it requires an investment of money to buy the seeds, uh, but there, we've been showing some economic values, economic returns. A little hard to identify in cover crops, but nonetheless, we can measure uh, soil organic matter increasing, and we have measured yield increases, cover crops that are managed uh, correctly and so forth. So uh, just the very fact that cover crops are spreading literally around the world is kind of another indication. There's got a lot of momentum out there. We can't always pin down how they work, why they work, to what degree they work, but we know generally they're working.